A doctor loses a needle tip during the course of surgery that costs him $500,000. You want to learn what happened? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. This was very early in my career and I was representing the doctor in this particular case. I was defending the doctor. He was being sued by the patient. The patient winds up going in for hernia repair surgery. And now, during the course of surgery, the doctor's wrapping up the surgery, and as he's sewing the patient closed, the tip of the needle breaks off. So what does the doctor do? Well, he actually goes ahead and starts looking for it. But after about 10 or 15 minutes, he can't find it. And so what does he do? Instead of getting an x-ray, he decides he's going to close the patient that is unlikely going to affect the patient at all. He thinks, what's the big deal? No big deal. It's not going to affect the patient at all. I'm going to close the patient up. When he sees the patient the next day in follow-up, he does not tell the patient about the fact that the tip of the needle broke off. So the patient has no clue. All the doctor tells the patient is, listen, your surgery went great. Everything went fine. You'll be fine. Well, three years later, the patient winds up having significant back pain. And they can't understand why they're having the significant back pain. So they go to an orthopedist, the orthopedist takes x-rays and said, what is this? He finds something sharp on the x-ray in the patient's back. He says, did you ever have surgery? He's like, yeah, three years ago I had surgery. Well, it looks like somebody left something inside of you. Now, that's remarkable. Why? Because now this problem that the doctor thought wouldn't be a problem is a problem. What the doctor should have done was he should have immediately told the patient, listen, I did everything I could to try and find this. I couldn't find it. And now just let me know. Come back to me if you have any further problem. Instead, the patient had no clue. And now, three years later, when he wakes up and realizes, I've got excruciating pain. What's causing this? The orthopedist has to find it on an x-ray. And now he's got to go in and surgically have that removed. And that's exactly what happened. Now, you might be thinking, three years, wait a second, if this is a medical malpractice case, how is it that the patient had three years to go ahead and bring a lawsuit? Well, as of today, May 9th, 2014, there's something known as the discovery rule. So if, for example, something was left inside of you during the course of surgery that was not intended to remain inside of you, then the patient has one year from the date of discovering that thing or when they reasonably should have discovered that thing within which to bring a lawsuit. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you to give you an insight and an understanding to what went on when a doctor inadvertently broke off the needle tip and decided, you know what, it's not a big deal, I'm not going to tell the patient. You know, I realize you have questions or concerns about your own particular matter. Well, if your matter happened here in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You know, this is something I do every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-487. 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.